Away from politics, though, and followers of the Trokosi tradition believe uh, spiritual communion with deities and spirits are closely connected with the natural phenomena and the environment. This was showcased when hundreds of women from across West Africa thronged the Togbi Ajima Shrine at Kliko in the Ketu South District of the Volta region to pray using clay mixed with water. Nanako Kedria has more. Followers of traditional African religions pray to various spirits as well as to the ancestors. Practitioners believe these spirits serve as intermediaries between humans and the primary God. Here, during the Chokovi traditional festival at Kleko in the Ketu South district of the Volta region, these women, most of whom are Fiashidis, meaning queens of the gods, had to form groups of two to fetch clay and water, walking in measured ways without talking. The clay and water upon reaching the shrines are mixed together and this almost caused some mayhem as patrons struggled for the watery item. So we just saw these two parties, these women, some went to fetch uh, some, some mud, the clay, the clay yeah. and others also went to fetch yeah, some yeah, water. Yeah. We just saw them come together, uh, they've mixed the clay. But what exactly, you, you, uh, we can see they are rushing, they've mixed them. Both parties have come, they've mixed the, those with water and those with clay have come. But what exactly is, is going on here, Osofu? Yeah, it's a spiritual exercise because there you will make a prayer by yourself. All the you need. Your purpose of coming here, you will say you will be saying it and be plastering. And by all means, you will get what you want. This clay water is then collected with a hand from the calabash and splashed on buildings of the shrines as the individual makes her supplications to the gods. But some few minutes after the women offered their prayers at the walls, we saw this old lady sprinkle some whitey substance on the same walls. So we sought some answers. Togbi Gagli Asipodi is the high priest of the Ajima shrine. We are all blessing everybody. So everything that you said here must be blessing. So when the next, uh, the next year you are coming, whatever you promise, you fulfill your promise. But if you refuse to come, if you refuse to come, oh, we don't have anything. Okay. See these people, yes. meaning like this. I can't record them. Of course. I can't do anything concerning them. It is believed in some circles that the African spirituality simply acknowledges that beliefs and practices touch on and inform every phase of human life, and therefore, African religion cannot be separated from the mundane. From Kleko, Nana Kwekudia for TV3 News.